Censorship plus gaslighting equals woke moderation, and it is terrible. So let's have a wee look at that. Welcome back to the show, Pikachu's ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick channel update, not done one for a while. Uh, I've noticed since I've been attacking censorship, gaslighting, other stock tactics and strategies of communists, and also woke people who are basically the same as communists, I've been seeing a lot more of these hateful, nasty comments which have been banned or deleted by me. You know, banned by YouTube or deleted by me. And I've seen a few of my uh, viewers have their comments trolled on. Like someone is looking for their comment and reporting every single one a spam. Just keep in mind, these people are a tiny, tiny minority. Even though they're very loud and they like to present themselves falsely, they present themselves as a huge majority. They're not. And the numbers of my channel will support that. This bit here is since I've been talking about Normies Against Woke. If I change it to the last 90 days, you can see there's a, there's a trend there. Oh, look at that. The trend is this. 651 views for today. And I started with zero when I was, you know, the 10th of October. Now, if I go to my channel content, you can see all my new videos from the last few hours are up. Um, but the last few have one dislike. Oh, there's some copyright. Let's have a look. Who's partially blocking my video that censorship is bad? Oh, look, it's Russia. Russia don't like me saying that censorship is bad. They don't like me saying that woke communist propaganda is bad. So I'm blocked in their country. And um, this one dislike on my last video, I'll probably get one on the woke censorship one as well. Now what happens when they do that is temporarily every single comment goes down. And the reason is YouTube don't have the numbers, they don't have the resources, the humans on hand, to physically go through all these posts and check them off as good, which they all are. There's nothing in there, certainly nothing I've seen from the people that are in question here to suggest that their comments are bad. And I know some of these people personally, I've known them for a long time, and they are absolutely good people that I like and I want hit. So how do we go around solving this problem of, um, I don't even know what to call it, communist attack? You know, underhand dirty tactics, spiking every single comment as spam or pornography when it is neither thing, lying and gaslighting the tactics of the communists and of the woke. Well, unfortunately, YouTube don't supply me good enough moderator tools to actually do anything about it. And as we've already discussed, they don't have the numbers to do it themselves. So we just need to be patient in the long term. We just need to have a strategy. When we write our comment, make sure the comment is still good. Because what these people are trying to do is gnaw away at the edges of your happiness, your joy. They want you to be miserable. And they know that once you've gone from joyful to miserable, it's not far before you go to angry. And when you're angry, your comments will reflect this. And then they can get your comments banned and they can say, this is a mean, angry man or woman or Pikachu. So the conclusion is this. Expect trouble from these psychos and these woke maniacs. Expect that every single comment is going to be flagged as pornography or spam or hate or something else that it isn't. Because they can't be honest. We know that. Woke people, communists, fascists. They cannot be honest. The truth will cut their head off. The truth will kill their campaign dead in its trap. But we can't do that. Oh no, no. We have to stay true to our morals, our honesty, the way that we do things here. The way that we do things here is we're not going to be brought down to their level. We're not going to be angry when we reply to them. In fact, you know what? I protect all of my viewers and commenters, so just leave it to me. If these people constantly harangue you and bug you and spam all your comments with hate flags, or whatever it is they do to get your comments taken down, just be patient, just keep in mind. In 24 hours time, all your comments will be back up, and their comments will be gone. And they will not be coming back up. In fact, they will be blocked and deleted, and they will not be able to use that account again. What I've also noticed is a lot of these people, they're not the smartest tools in the, the box, you know? So it's fairly easy to see when they're using a new fake account. You just click on the account, look at the details. Oh, look, the account was made today. Look at the picture and the account name. It's an angry slant towards a previous one. That's a person to keep an eye on. 
and after a while, YouTube will know when they've had 4 or 5 fake accounts on the same IP address from the same computer with the same MAC address, that person's computer will be banned from YouTube. Now this takes about 6 months, it isn't a, a, it's a long process, but nonetheless, your good comments should not be hidden. So don't let it don't let it affect you, don't let it ruin your mood, don't let it change the way you communicate because that's what they want. They want to change us, happy, democratic, free moral people into angry, um, reactive narcissists. That's what they want because then they've got something to attack. It's called straw manning and gaslighting so just watch out for that so anyway i'm going to go and clear out my comment section now with my digital broom sweep away the rubbish and put it with the rest of the crap that deserves to be in the bin until then enjoy yourselves i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye now very strange i saw a man dressed as a cyborg ninja just now we shall have to be more careful comrade on a side note, just feel sorry for the Chinese, the North Koreans, the Russians, anyone who is living under a communist regime, just pray for them.